Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. There's Breeze. Thomas has got it, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Bree's going to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. And that'll bring up second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Ready? To throw his breeze. And he finds Cook. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 26. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing now is Breeze. He's got Smith here. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, down two scores in the fourth quarter. It maybe wasn't quite desperation time, but it was getting close. And that interception there on the deep ball, that probably slams the door on their chances. And maybe that was the thought process, that it wasn't quite desperation time. So now you take the shot before they're going to lay back any farther on defense. Go ahead and throw it downfield. Unfortunately, it didn't work. A throw complete to Dorsett. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Philip Dorsett. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now Breeze. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Throwing on second and long. Breeze. He'll let it fly in the direction again. And that'll be incomplete. 
Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the tread. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. And I do believe this is going to wind up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. is to be expected this is nowhere near being good from that distance and this score will stay right where it is well he does have a good leg i'll give him that but not that good not by a long shot so from the 36 now first and 10 trying to shake off the interception he'll look to throw he's going to take a shot right away for the end zone oh he had six points in his hands there couldn't hang on second down this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it they've got the lead fourth quarter maybe can expect more passes like that downfield dancing to his left and he will find a man here as thomas comes open and he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Here we go. So here erase we go. the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big Ready. eraser or no was that no the one way. at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy and use in addition to the pencil. And those last for how long? And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Saints make some inroads here to that deficit. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Now, Breeze again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven go, yards, all go, told, as he's go. taken down back shy of the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Brady now on first down. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to hold that one in. To throw again on second down. Brady, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Hey, team six, team six. Check line 47, check line 47. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. 47 from Ozzy. Ozzy. Throwing his Brady on third down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Marshawn Latimer. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Third 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. On second and 11 now. Brady complete to Watson, the tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw is Brady. His throw incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. Hey, hey, seven. And they, in fact, will throw it. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Back to throw, Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They'll run on first down. White, he'll have a first down inside the 10. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. They'll run for it with Michelle, and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Saints hands team able to rein this one in. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Marie's now on first down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. So now on comes the field goal unit, and this will be a, shall we say, a rather optimistic try here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. I, uh, I, I got nothing after that try. Yeah, don't even. Don't even try. I mean, he tried it from the parking lot. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll take over first and ten at their own two-yard line. 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Well, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no. And they're going to get to him. That is going to be a safety. Tom Brady taken down to the end zone. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. I'll be heading to the hotel, Charles.